2023, NASA achieved a new benchmark in developing an innovative propulsion system called the Rotating Detonation Rocket Engine, or RDRE. Engineers at NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center in Huntsville, Alabama, successfully tested a novel 3D printed RDRE for 251 seconds or longer than four minutes, producing more than 5,800 pounds of thrust. That kind of sustained burn emulates typical requirements for a lander touchdown or a deep space burn that could, could set a spacecraft on course from the moon to Mars. RDRE's first hot fire test was performed at Marshall in the summer of 2022 in partnership with InSpace LLC and Purdue University, both of Lafayette, Indiana. That test produced more than 4,000 pounds of thrust for nearly a minute. The primary goal of the latest test is to better understand how to scale the combustor to different thrust classes, supporting engine systems of all types, and maximizing the variety of missions it could serve. The rocket engine generates thrust by detonation combined with a supersonic combustion that produces more power while using less fuel compared to the propulsion systems typically used today. As a result, the new propulsion system enables a huge leap in design efficiency. It demonstrates we are closer to making lightweight propulsion systems that will allow us to send more mass and payload further into deep space, a critical component to NASA's Moon to Mars vision. The performance benefits of a detonation cycle engine may allow for a broader design trade space and more compact geometry required for future missions to the moon and onwards towards Mars. Notwithstanding the groundbreaking achievement, the technology readiness level is still considered to be relatively low, with several major risk factors that require understanding prior to full engine system development. One area of uncertainty is the extreme heat loads expected during thermal steady state conditions. To achieve this, an announcement for collaborative opportunity partnership between InSpace LLC and NASA Marshall Space Flight Center was established to explore integration of additive manufacturing processes and the high conductance copper-based alloys. Other challenges, including advanced modeling of the engine's behavior and integration of the engine into a functioning flight vehicle, remain to be overcome before proceeding to test flights. RDRE flight hardware, high performance, fuel efficient, compact, affordable rocket motors will likely first soar aloft by 2030, according to NASA's forecasts. In time, RDRE applications could range from hypersonic aircraft to second stage launchers, deep space transports, and lunar and Martian landers. The RDRE project represents a critical step forward. It not only demonstrates NASA's commitment to innovation, but also highlights a path to more sustainable and efficient deep space exploration. Thank you for joining us in this fascinating look at how NASA is pushing the boundaries of space technology. Stay tuned for more updates on RDRE and other exciting developments in space exploration. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video to keep up with the latest advancements that are propelling us further into the cosmos.